Hello, welcome. It's Abidi's Kitchen, and today I'll be sharing with you my snapper curry or fish curry recipe. For this recipe, you'll need snapper. I have here some Guyana gray snapper. Ingredients for a curry paste, curry powder, garam masala, and tomato paste. The garam masala and the curry powder you can get from any West Indian store. Tomato. A piece of tamarind, I'm using this in place of the green mango, I'm not a fan of green mango, and shallots. You'll also need some blended up onion, garlic, and pepper. This is my seasoning uh, cooking base. So let's get into the cooking. Alright, so I have my pieces of snapper here that's been washed and draining for a while now. I'm going to give it a light seasoning of adobo, about one teaspoon black pepper and a little bit of Goya Sazon. This here is optional but again I do cook with this in my food and the cilantro in there brings out a nice flavor in the fish. And now I'm going to give everything a good mix and set this aside for about a half an hour to an hour to marinate. This is my way of cooking snapper curry or any fish curry. This is building flavors up from the beginning. Alternately, salt and black pepper is good enough. This is good. Now I'm going to cover this, set it aside in preparation for our snapper curry. So my snapper had been marinating here. It had a chance to get seasoned here. And I have a little bit of flour and black pepper here. And now I'm going to lightly flour the pieces of fish. This is my way of cooking curried fish. I don't like to use the raw pieces and dust off the excess. Now I personally like using the Guyana Grey Snapper because it is much more bigger and has a lot more meat. All of this here is boneless and I got a nice mid section of the snapper and you can get this at any West Indian store. Now that this has been floured, I'm going to take it over to the stove to begin frying. Into the hot oil. And I'm going to let this fry into a nice golden brown color. Now the other side is the same and I'm going to remove, set aside to drain in preparation for the curry. I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of my seasoning cooking base and this is just blended up onion, garlic and pepper, a little bit of water and I'm going to give everything a good mix here. There that's ready and I'm going to also add in pieces of tomato and my tamarind. So here this is nice and mixed and thick and the tomato is going to add some nice acid in there as well. So I have on a pan here, or a kahari, with some oil heating up, vegetable oil, and into my hot oil I'm going to add my curry paste. Now I'm going to leave this here, I want it to reduce, and I also want the raw curry taste to cook out. So about 5 to 8 minutes is good enough for this. So my curry paste is nice and reduced, I can see the oil coming through back the curry and if I pull it away it's nice and thick and now into that I'm going to add about three to four cups of boiling hot water this is to make my sauce now I'm going to season this this is my gravy the scallions or shallots that I had and salt this is salt to your liking salt to your flavor salt to your preference and I'm going to let this curry sauce come up to a boil. I'm going to cover it. Right, this has come up to a nice rigorous boil. Test for salt or flavoring. And into there I'm going to add my pieces of snapper. Now because this was fried already, it is already cooked. So I'm just going to let this all come together here nicely. Now you don't want to touch this too much. You don't want the fish to be raking or anything like that. I'm going to cover it quickly for it to come up to a boil. And as soon as it boils up, 
this is done all right this has come up to a nice boil here and you can leave this with as much gravy or as little as you like and this is going to thicken up when it gets cold now I'm just going to leave my pot open I want it to go for like this for about two minutes just to reduce out some of the liquid turn the stove off and our snapper curry or fish curry is ready and here you have it our finished recipe snapper curry or Guyanese style fish curry now I'm serving it here today with rice and you can have this with sada roti you can add okra or green mango in there but my kids don't like that so I omit that but the tamarind and the tomato gives it a nice acid and flavor here you can see the fish is nice and thick and falling apart and that's the reason I like to use snapper because it is meaty and it doesn't have a lot of bones do try this recipe all of the measurements and ingredients will be listed in the description box below give it a thumbs up share subscribe and thank you for spending time with us today in Abidi's kitchen enjoy bye bye